Good morning, everyone. Elijah, do you say hello? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Can you tell everyone where we're going today? Yes. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to Legoland. Yes. Tom, are you excited? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Woohoo, we're going to Legoland. We're all packed and ready to go, aren't we? Oh, okay. Looks down. We've packed all of our bags, pushes in the car. Baby's had a bath because it stinks. No, it smells all clean. And we are ready to go. It's saying at the moment, Tom, it's yeah. going to take an hour and 20 minutes okay. to get to Legoland. So we should get there just before 10. Cool. Hopefully, it's not too busy. It is a Sunday, and I think they only just opened this weekend or last weekend. I can't remember. But we're very excited. We're excited. Are you excited? Who's excited for Legoland? Octopus. He loves an octopus. find the submarine. We've arrived at Legoland! Hooray! This is where we are parked. We're parked in B and we're by the exit sign. Can you remember that, Lyda? We're in number, we're in letter B, not number B, letter B. You remember that, okay? Letter B. Maybe it's quite cold. We've just made it inside and it is cold, but we're in and we're making our a beeline to the deep sea adventure because so Elijah keeps Dinosaur, asking Elijah. for submarines. So that's where we're going now. And I think, yeah, we're going this way. I think, I hope. So that's the first ride of the day. We're going to going on the submarines. Elijah? Give us some minutes.
it's a favourite of ours. I like you not so much. It's a favourite of ours. I think it, oh, it's a favourite of mine. <laughs> you sit down and go around a pond. <laughs> oh, it's cute. And I just wasn't a massive fan. But hey, hey. Uh, we're going to go. Skyline's the best ride here. Yeah, it is. I think we're going to have some lunch. Hopefully, and then I'll lie down and sleep, and, and then, then we're going to go on the skyline. It's coming to let me put him on his first ever roller coaster. No, it's too. It's yeah. way too, too small. small. No, he's not. It's, it's not point nine. It's not point nine. If he's too small for that, then he's too small for all the other rides you want to take. Too small. Look, look there. He's there. 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 Okay, let's go get some food. Yeah, 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 let's
is I would talk about um, the kind of stuff Elijah was allowed on. So Elijah at that, well, he's, he's just turned two. Um, and for quite a lot of the rides, it's a minimum a, a height requirement of 0 0.9 metres, um, so 90 centimetres, um, which we think he was either on the dot or just below. Um, we weren't particularly sure, so we didn't pay for him. I think for the Legoland, if your child is 90 centimetres over, you have to pay for him. But when we bought the tickets, he was below. Um, so we didn't pay for him, um, but all the rides he went on, he was fine. There are quite a few rides that any age group can go on. So like the submarine ride, deep sea adventure, um, obviously like the train rides, even Coast Guard, um, which is the little, it's the boat ride that you control. Um, anyone could go on that, but, um, the fairy tale ride. Um, there are a few rides that they can go on. A couple of them were closed. Um, so it's, I think there's like a hot air balloon one. Um, that was closed when we were there, so we didn't go on that. We didn't go on Ninjago. It was the last, first time we went there. He hated it, um, which was the first ever ride he went on. Poor thing. I think it gave him a bit of a shock. So we decided not to take him on that. Or the Tomb Blaster, I think it's called. The one with the lasers and you, you know, shoot things. Um, didn't go on that. So there was a few things that we didn't go on that he could go on. Um, but just bear in mind, if you are taking a smaller person... There isn't a heck of a lot they can go on. Um, so I think we didn't actually do many rides in that day. Not because of queues, because the queues actually weren't too bad. Um, I think the longest we waited, which was kind of the more, the most popular ride, like uh, Flight of the Sky Lion, I think we waited about 40, 45 minutes for. And that was the longest we waited all day. Um, we tended to stick with the stuff that was less than 20 minute wait because of Elijah. Um, where he's only little, he doesn't really understand waiting and queuing um, and doesn't really have the biggest um, attention span. Um, so he wanted just cheap, you know, happy, cheerful stuff. Um, and to be fair to him, he did very well at waiting. Um, the longest ride we waited with him was the train ride um, because it just took them a lot of time to unload people and load people back on. Um, where the ride is located, um, literally you walk down that little um, pathway and there's a crossing, so obviously to let people cross from one end of the park to the other. Um, and they have to wait until the queue is clear and then they put down the barriers um, to stop obviously people from walking through the train track. Um, but that took, we were on, sitting on the train for a good 10 minutes waiting for you know, for the barriers to go down so we could eventually go. So that was the reason why we waited so long. It's because it, we, by the time we were in queue, there was two other rides, uh, like train rides that went through. Um, we thought we would get on the second, but we missed it just by a few families. Um, but yeah, it just took them ages to unload everyone, load everyone back on, and then stop the, like, the pedestrians uh, crossing the track. Um, so that was the longest wait that we had to do, and he he did very well. Uh, he tried to steal people's ice creams. Bear in mind he's dairy free, not allowed ice cream, and he doesn't like ice cream. Um, but he was very interested into what everyone was eating while we were in the queue. Um, and yeah, you could tell by the end of waiting he was getting a little bit aggy. Um, he's at the point where he's starting to push boundaries a little bit, and he start not he didn't create. But he was getting to the point where he could potentially start pushing buttons. Um, so I think it was a good time when we did actually get on. Um, and then we were obviously really had to wait another 10 minutes um, just to get the train moving. Um, but yeah, no, that is the longest ride we had to wait for. I mean, stuff that he can do, um, like I said, there isn't a whole lot. So he can't do any of like, the driving things, he's too little. Um, the few things I want, we wanted to get him on, um, that we didn't think he was tall enough, but the queues were just a little bit too long um, for us to wait just to find out whether he could do it or not, was the helicopters, which uh, we would have loved, we'd loved to get him on the helicopters this time. Um, but the queues were just too long all the time, and we weren't 100% sure he was tall enough. So we didn't want to queue up to say, no, sorry, he's too small. Um, so we thought, you know what, we'll just wait till next time we go. 
um, so we didn't get to do that unfortunately. And we actually queued up to do the Duplo roller coaster, which is like the teeniest little roller coaster ever. Um, you know, he's never been on a roller coaster before, and Tom is extremely excited to take him on his first roller coaster. And we thought, okay, let's try it. We waited in queue, it was at the end of the day, the queue was empty, um, and then the ride broke down and there was people stuck on the ride. And um, we were very, very glad that we didn't decide to do it like 10 minutes earlier because we would have been stuck on that ride. Um, so he didn't actually get to go on because the ride obviously just shut down. They decided not to open it again because it was very close to closing time. Um, so that never happened. But next time we go, he will hopefully be tall enough. He's going for gross at the moment. So hopefully he'll be tall enough and then Tom can take him on his first ever roller coaster, which I know he's very excited about. He had a very good time in Legoland. This isn't the first time he's been, this is the second. We went for Tom's birthday last year. Um, and again, Elijah, he was only 15 months old at the time, so he didn't go on a lot. Um, but he had a really good time. Um, he was absolutely wiped by the time we got home. He was absolutely zonked. Um, we actually stopped off and got food at um, Cobfield service station, got him in his pyjamas and he fell asleep in the car on the way home. Um, and we didn't get home until I think it was about half seven, eight. Um, so he was an absolute blotto when we got home and um, woke him up to have a bit of milk because um, that's how he kind of settled and stays asleep in the night. Um, and then went straight to bed. So he, Elijah had a really good time. This was like a special birthday treat for him. Um, because he turned two a few weeks ago um, and it's just something nice for us all to do we all like theme parks I'm not the biggest f uh, uh, fan of rides Tom is but so Leg Legoland is nice like kiddie adventure um, that I would quietly go on all of them um, Tom will quietly go on all of them and I hope we want Elijah to have fun at theme parks and want to go on the coasters and stuff because I never we couldn't really afford it going too many times also when we were younger so that never really experienced big roller coasters um I think, which is why i think i'm not a massive fan of them now um and obviously like you know fear and stuff like that sometimes i'm quite good at conquering my fear and going on stuff um but yeah not a big fan of rides um but speaking of there will be a lot more adventures with us because we have got merlin passes so we haven't got annual passes, we've got Merlin memberships. So the membership is a monthly subscription. Um, that is, uh, when you do it, you're put in for a 12 month term minimum um, and you can't break it, that term within the 12 months, unless you do it, I think, before a certain date. Um, but we thought, me and Tom, every week, we have at least a day together, whether it being during the week, whether it's a weekend. And we thought, you know what, even if we go once a month, that's getting our money back and more. Um, you know, we're going to places like that. And with the Merlin Passes, it's not just theme parks you go to. There's so many different places. There's aquariums and Elijah lo absolutely loves fish. Um, so that was kind of a really big thing for us. Um, so we can go to more aquariums and stuff like that. So I think Elijah will have a great time. Um, Elijah's too small to have one because he's only two. So we've got one for me and one for Tom. Um, and we've already booked some adventures um, to go on in the Easter break, which isn't very long, which is actually, it starts next week, but our adventure's not till the second week of Easter. Um, but there's more, more of that to come, which is very exciting. And hopefully we're gonna be having a short break, stay somewhere for mine and Tom's wedding anniversary. Um, we've been talking about it and it's off peak. Um, so hopefully it'll be a little bit cheaper, but we've never stayed at a hotel in like a theme park. So that is hopefully something we will be doing. Um, but yes, again, more to come on that. Um, yes, we're very excited and very happy to have Merlin passes. And you know what? I, I said to Tom, I want to do a lot more videos now. I feel a lot more confident. I said to him that I feel sometimes when I'm doing it around him, I feel very self-conscious and that he's judging me, but he's not. And you thought, you know, screw it. I don't need to impress anyone, you know, I'm not going to put makeup on, like, look, I've just finished work, well, I finished work a few hours ago, no makeup, my hair looks like an absolute mess, it needs a wash, uh, you know, this is just me, um, and I feel like before I felt like quite a bit of pressure to, to put on the best version of me, and no, that's, that's not what I'm going to do, you know, I'm, I'm going to show 
the me that is actually me. I hardly ever wear makeup anymore. Just don't have the time or the patience. Um, you know, I have a kid. I work four days a week with one day off and I have the weekend. So I don't get a lot of time to, you know, to actually look after myself properly. So, um, you know, so you will be getting this version of me, the real version of me, um, which I'm excited about. And actually, I, yeah, there's a lot more plans that we've got to do videos um, with Tom, without Tom, with Elijah, without Elijah. Um, I've got some plans in my head. So watch this space. There will be a lot more videos coming. Um, so I'm going to sign off now. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you liked it. Please like, comment if you love Legoland, what kind of videos you want to see from me, or even if you're a mum like me with a little kid and have any life advice for me, or you know, just want to have a chat, then just comment below or follow me on Instagram and it is my underscore little underscore family. Or no, it's my it's the underscore Ollie underscore family. I'll pop it in the links below, don't worry. Um but yeah, just come and have a chat. You know, I'm, I'm a married mum with a two-year-old and, you know, just getting on with life. So come and have a chat. It'd be great. Brilliant. Okay, right. I will see you all next time in my next video. See you later.